Their third fight was scheduled for the last day of 2004. For some, he was a great disappointment, and for some, he won the Grand Prix and the Heavyweight Championship. Fedor starts the round beautifully, with the right low kick, left hook, and a takedown. The fighters rose to the bar after several attempts by the Russian to trample the face of the Brazilian. Fedor again held a successful takedown and hit a powerful soccer kick in the head. Then again from the stance, where Emelianenko was slightly more successful. First, Minotaro took a leg and met him with a right cross, and later Fedor returned with the same cross, and the Brazilian was knocked down. Later again, a powerful hit with the right cross from the Russian fighter, and a little later another. Emelianenko worked first and hit more. The round ended with a takedown from Nogueira. In the second round, after a small change of blows, where the Russian was again successful, Antonio took a takedown, but found himself on the bottom. The fight went from one rack to the other, but nothing dangerous happened. Fedor was well protected from the takedowns and was more successful in the exchange of blows. The third round went according to the same scenario as the previous one. There was a cool knee to the head of the Brazilian from the side control. More significant blows and domination on the parterre from Emelianenko. The fighters are already quite tired, but Fedor's timing was better. Nogueiro became more active at the end of the round and hit more, but this was not enough to win. Fedor Emelianenko won by unanimous decision, putting a certain point in the confrontation with Antonio Nogueira. New Year's gifts for the Russian fighter became a fat check, the unification of the title in absolute weight of the most prestigious organization in MMA, and the addition of a huge number of fans around the world.